Hey, welcome back to After the Episode, brought to you by Line Cutters, the adjustable ring that cuts fish in line. Hey, welcome back to Line Cutters After the Episode. We're going to do a little different today, folks. We got a guest. I got Nathan Mintier on the phone. He was actually with us that day um, when we were out there in Baghdad, Milton area. Say hey, Nathan. Hey, what's going on, (laughs) y'all? Yeah, so I want to talk to you all a little bit. The Kind of the topic is, I, I just kind of just want to discuss how we found these fish and what we have to go through in the winter to find fish, because it's nothing like warm, warm days, right? Right, Nathan? Oh, yeah, it's a lot easier when it's warm out. Yeah, we actually, we covered some ground, didn't we? went, we were by I-10, and we went all the way to downtown Milton, <laughs> and then back before we found fish, right? Oh, yeah, we definitely covered a lot of ground that day searching for them. Yeah, so searching was the key. And we were going low and slow, as as always in the winter. And um, Nathan has been has been making his own soft plastics, so I kind of wanted to touch on that today as well. Nathan, what got you into that? You know, making the soft plastic yourself. At first, I was I started getting tired of buying the stuff off the shelf. They didn't have quite the colors I was looking for or the style I was looking for. So I kind of just started dabbling in the idea in my in my kitchen to begin with and made my first uh, paddle tail lure and it's been going off from there. You've kind of been going between wedge tails and paddle tails. Uh, what's your favorite? Uh, for me, I don't really have a favorite per se. It's just really what I'm in the mood for, what I might think the fish might be keyed in on as far as like size or like in the winter time when it gets colder and the water temperatures drop, I like something with a little more subtle presentation like the wedge tail doesn't put off quite as much vibration, but it's still a real good uh, finesse bait in my opinion. Not only have we been going low, low and slow this winter, and we've been going smaller, wouldn't you say? Oh, definitely. I mean, I've seen a lot better bite going from a three and a half inch paddle tail down to a three inch. Yeah, just a half an inch difference and uh, a little bit different body shape, and the fish have been seeming to turn on a little bit more to it. We're grinding the bottom going smaller what about color preference any color preferences that you've been making that you like uh right now when we're back in those those back bays back bayous and river systems looking for those redfish and those trout i've been noticing that uh a little bit darker colors maybe the new penny with a chartreuse tail or even i've had a lot of luck on a silver tail with this new penny bodies that's my favorite Uh, closer closer to the, the color of the water but still have a little bit of contrast with the tail or even the body color Pretty much always a chartreuse tail, right? Uh, pretty exclusively. Sometimes I'll switch it up to a silver tail or sometimes even a pink. Just depends on what I'm feeling like that day. So you've been, how long have you been making these soft plastics? And it's a pretty simple process? or uh, I've been doing it for probably about going on two, three months. And it's not too hard of a process. Um, the hardest part would probably have to be making my own molds as far as coming up with a concept for a lure or... Even if you just want, you have a favorite bait that they might not make anymore, but you have a bunch of, you can still replicate it. I just do it right there in the house. I just use a, uh, a silicone material to make my molds. I'm watching the episode right now. We saw those reds blowing up on the bank, and then you ran over there, and you were throwing kind of a root beer color with a kind of a gray tail. That was one of the, the smaller three-inch ones that I had made. Three. Um, it was a like a almost a chocolate root beer brown with mm-hmm. a... Uh, like a silverish tail and they had been blowing up there earlier and we we snuck over there and managed to pull one out of there so it was pretty good so that's interesting so you really dial it all the way back to a three inch not even a three and a half which is what most paddle tails are just even finessing them more you know were you, were you grinding the bottom were you bumping it or what uh, i was letting it settle slowly to the bottom and just gradual very light twitches on it nothing excessive because i've noticed in the winter time if you put too much of a a, a switch on it you uh tend to lose more fish because they're, they're not wanting to move around as much when it's cold uh, you're big on the pro cure oh yeah i definitely love pro cure it's more <laughs> cost effective in my opinion what, what's your favorite flavor i know you got you got like the big bottles yeah i buy the guide size bottles just because it i use a lot of soft plastic so i go through quite a bit of it how much um, is the guide size versus the little i have the little bottle i think the little bottles run about eight nine bucks Depending on where you get them, and then the guide bottles you get almost two thirds more for I think like sixteen, seventeen dollars, and it'll last me two, three seasons. 
Now, I've just put a little dab of Procure on the nose. You said you slather it, right? I'll do a line straight down the side of the body. And a, a lot of your soft plastics. Let me go ahead and grab them. Nathan's uh, soft plastics, a lot of them have like a little, like a little valley on the, on the back of the ridge. And are you, are you putting it in that little valley there? Right, that's where I'd be putting it. So this is Nathan's just standard paddle tail in a gray color that he made for me that I just, I'm starting to lean real heavily toward this. We're trying to figure out what the most universal color for our region is. This is the same one done in a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, wedge tail? I, have the, I think you, I made you the wedge tails as well as the uh, more of a matrix style three inch minnow stop. Right. So there's your, there's your three inch. This is what he was having his luck on. Uh, are you going to start making these commercially and selling them? What's the deal, Mike? Well, I'm planning on releasing a, a small line come 2018 this year. Right. Hopefully in the next month or so, I should be starting to release a few into the into the market so people can actually buy them. I really like that wedge tail, man. I really do. Yeah, they definitely work pretty good. They put off a lot of vibration. Where can people uh, chat with you and, and you know, just kind of get, if somebody wants to order these eventually, where, where's the best place to find you? Uh, right now, they, they're probably the easiest way would be uh, contact me on Facebook. They can also look me up on my uh, my YouTube account, which is uh, Real Time Kayak Fishing. They can contact me through those two places. Well, hey, man, we had a blast that day. We caught a lot of fish. It took us a while to find them, didn't it? But we caught some. Uh, yeah, it took us a little while, but we finally found uh, they were holding a little bit warmer water. I think it was like four degrees warmer was what triggered them. But hey, look, we came up with a new hot spot for the winter. We stumbled on a little ditch that, that was about four foot deep, and they were concentrated in there. So now we got a new spot, right? Oh, yeah. I've been back a couple times since then. And you've been catching some chain pickerel in there, too, haven't you? Chain pickerel and largemouth bass. Dang. <laughs> on top of the reds and specks. Yes, sir. All right. Well, thanks a lot for joining us today on Line Cutters After the Episode, Nathan. And uh, y'all hit him up if you're interested. He's going to be making these commercials here pretty soon. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see y'all next time right here on After the Episode. What? Tell him bye, Nathan. Bye, y'all.